Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate a mystery, many things, past, present, and come, about to what Jesus offers us, himself. We celebrate and come together with an invitation. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome. We celebrate a sacrament, an encounter with Christ for ongoing life with Christ. He gives us food for the journey. He gives us strength for the journey. We commemorate the passion of Jesus. At every Mass, we remember that Jesus offered himself as on Calvary for our redemption of our sins. We participate in the life of Jesus. This is my body. This is my blood given for you. We have the memorial of his passion and death. As on Good Friday, we never forget what God has done for us. Done not only for us, but for the many. We celebrate a meal with the risen Christ. Just as the Last Supper with the disciples at Emmaus, or when he cooked breakfast on the beach, Jesus asked for our fellowship that we come together to be with him. We celebrate today a sign of hope for the coming kingdom of God. We will pray the Our Father, thy kingdom come. And we pray that sacrament of the Eucharist is a sacrament of unity, that all people may come to believe that Jesus is Lord. As we receive communion, we say amen our yes to the covenant, our agreement with what God is offering us, and our request that we remain in God's favor, that state of grace, that we have God's help and protection, good times and bad, and that God restores any broken relationships with God or with others. And lastly, the very word Eucharist means thanksgiving. We're thankful to God to bring us to this day. We're thankful for the invitation that he offers us to be part of his life, to be able to say yes, that we belong together in fellowship with others of faith. And we acknowledge Jesus as our Savior and our Lord. 